Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. One of the Kronstadt pit crew has quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ball buster chief mechanic, is in critical need of a replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. Keep that 
that car going until the end. This race is not over until the clock ticks down. I heard a couple of the guys talking earlier. They said the car was behaving erratically that last lap. You, you're the junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? Suppose I am. Great, this is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus thing. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone, look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last minute pit stop, and I need you ready and... Grab your preferred... Sierra's coming in. Everyone on your stations, now! Get down. Next up, Robert Knox. Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I just gotta pick up the documents from my van, but um I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit. Now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know it's done. I think I lost them in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got no evidence. Bye bye money. I don't know. I, I, I need to figure something out. Do me a favor. Go check if my keys are over there. The guy's crazy and I don't dare go over there, but you look pretty tough. Please. Did you see him? The guy that jumped me and grabbed my outfit?
man, you're a real lifesaver. Thank you. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade moneymen. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Phil, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time, I tried to have a meeting with him. He had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. <sighs> it's cold today, huh? Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the US military, is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like a way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox, 47. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Hey, good to see you, man. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47. Hmm. What are you thinking? Mr. Mendez? Right this way, sir. Yes, it's Ben Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. 
At Lipton, I realize this may sound trivial, but the Fountain View soda dispenser system of the crib is closed in. I can't work without my energy drinks, and I've been forced to bring my own. It's right in here, Mr. Mendez. Ted Mendez, right? I wasn't told you were here, but I'm glad to see you. Let's go. Let me show you the future. Get out of my face. I mean it. Ah, Ted, good to finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty, it's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there, Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, Hi. then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Target acquired. Dummy B. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead. Make my day. God damn it. Robert Knox. Aw, crap. Oh, shit. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Hello there, sir.
Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And, and you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Ah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. <laughs> 